and welcome to News Click. We are in conversation today with Dr. R. Ramachandran, Associate Editor, Frontline, to talk about Chandrayaan. The expedition is now virtually, for all practical purposes, off since we've lost communication with uh, the satellite. Uh, to what extent has the mission as a whole uh, been a success? or to what extent has this setback caused serious harm to the mission? Well, I will not say that there has been any serious harm to the mission, um, though probably much more could have been accomplished if the mission had continued for its scheduled uh, lifetime of two years. Uh, nevertheless, um, um, this curtailed lifetime of the satellite itself points to a lot of achievements on ISRO's part, particularly the building of a complex satellite such as this, incorporating as many as 11 payloads That's right. for experiments, various experiments, six of which um, um, were Indian and five of them were uh, uh, got from abroad. Um, and uh, various um, innovative uh, inputs that have gone into building the satellite, particularly the thermal management part of it, which is a major issue whenever a satellite goes on to a lunar mission because the uh, constant uh, cycles of uh, heat load and uh, coal, coal environment that the satellite has to go through every two hours or so requires a very critical uh, thermal management um, uh, process and uh, manage, uh, management um, <coughs> process uh, built into the satellite. Mm. Uh, besides that, of course, um, um, the launch of a satellite into a deep space mission such as this, which means um, any mission that uh, uh, is more than about, say, a lakh kilometers from the Earth, uh, requires a very uh, elaborate communication network and to be able to pick up very faint signals from such distances and also be able to pump in a lot of uh, energy so that you are able to send signals to the satellite and also things like that. And uh, for which uh, ISRO had established a major setup called the uh, Indian Deep Space Network. That's right. And um, much of it was indigenously built, including the uh, large 32 meter uh, antenna which sits there at a place called Bialalu near Bangalore. So all these have uh, mm, uh, together uh, pointed to a very um, strong capability within the ISRO system to undertake such mis complicated missions. Uh, the launch vehicle itself has proved to be a very great success, even though originally it was scheduled to go on the geostationary satellite launch vehicle, but they managed to do with the, um, the workhorse, uh, the polar PSLV, launch, yeah. uh, satellite launch vehicle, and configured in such a way that you could actually launch a satellite uh, uh, for a lunar orbit, lunar, right. lunar mission. But and, uh, and how about the scientific uh, experiments in the payloads, both the Indian ones and the international ones? To what extent have they, do you think, met their objectives? Uh, clearly, if they had stayed longer, they would have accumulated yeah. more information. Because uh, um, uh, the scientific observations themselves, pertaining to various remote sensing um, uh, capability that were built into the various instruments had to sort of you know go through cycles of um, uh, stop and go because of thermal management cycles because you don't want to expose these instruments as well as the um, critical components of the satellite to very high heat load. So you had to sort of wait for um, uh, phases when there is not much of heat load and then start the operation and so on. But in these last um, uh, eight, nine months, um, or nearly 10 months actually, uh, they have been able to collect fair amount of data and if ISRO is to be believed, they have accomplished as much as uh, nearly 90% of their original objectives. Right. Um, one critical, I am also told that uh, from, uh, by the scientists that fair amount of data has been uh, received and, and, and is being analyzed right now. From but ISRO is also blaming uh, excessive uh, radiation uh, solar radiation in particular for the damage done to the uh, communication systems uh, 
uh, on board the satellite due to which they have lost uh, control. Which is true, but this, when we are talking of the uh, solar activity, we are talking of particular kind of X-ray radiation right. which comes from sun and we are looking for that. So it is a critical management uh, um, uh, question that on the one hand you would like to have lesser heat radiation on the satellite plus other cosmic radiation coming out of the satellite, but at the same time you would also like the sun to um, uh, be active at a period when you want when the X-rays to come. So it's a, it's a kind of a you know very uh, balancing act that you have to do right. in space. Uh, what is your impression of how much or how well we have been able to handle the various international collaborations that have gone into this? Yeah, in terms of being able to attract a good many experiments and that too very good experiments, uh, it still points to the capabilities that exist within uh, ISRO. Um, which is not true of, for example, even the missions of uh, the mission of uh, the Europeans or the Japanese or the Chinese. Right. They were not able to sort of uh, think in these terms that you should be able to attract uh, uh, experiments from outside. And uh, we launched at a time uh, when um, there were a lot of experiments that needed to be done uh, with regard to the moon, and uh, many experiments, many uh, experimenters from abroad were keen to put their payloads um, onto right. the Indian satellite. And how much of the systems that ISRO has set up for Chandrayaan, particularly the uh, deep space network, yeah. the tracking systems, right. uh, they are still with us. It's right, like right. capital investment. Right. And right. they right. would come in useful for subsequent right. yeah. uh, missions as well. So whatever has happened to Chandrayaan now is not going to affect mm -hmm. those which have been tested and uh, worked uh, well, right. I mean, now of course you are already planning to launch the second uh, Chandrayaan right. mission, uh, probably next year or a year later. Maybe the impact of this um, uh, first mission may have some uh, kind of uh, effect on uh, effect on those on the planning of the next mission. Uh, probably you'll have to uh, safeguard against such eventualities right. happening to that as well, particularly thermal management. And um, the failure of the, I believe the failure of the power system in this uh, yeah, satellite was something to, learn from. Uh, something to learn from and how to sort of um, build your system. Yeah, right. yeah. And apart from the failure of the power system, what other lessons do you think ISRO would have taken home from this? And related to that, what lessons do you think the Indian public at large needs to derive from the success and or the limited success of the Chandrayaan uh, mission? From ISRO's perspective and uh, from uh, the perspective of people in general, one point that emerges from this entire uh, handling of this mission is that um, the ISRO system was not very open in being able to sort of uh, keep the, even the scientists informed right. of what was happening with the satellite. For example, the uh, star sensors seem to have failed as far back as in April itself. Uh, but the scientists as well as the general public came to know only in July. Right. And uh, along with the failure of the star sensors, some kind of um, uh, the uh, bus management systems uh, units also seem to have failed. For all you know, the power system which, uh, right, which failed now was related must, to have been must have been related to the uh, failure in management sure. of these systems. Uh, similarly, this telemetry management system also should be must be part of this package itself, sure. uh, which also would have uh, uh, had its impact because of the failure of the uh, bus management units. So these are things. If in fact many scientists felt that they were not being informed uh, right. on a day-to-day -day basis of what was happening with the satellite, even so that uh, as late as uh, three days back, the chief project coordinator of the um, uh, Chandrayaan uh, experiments was completely unaware that the satellite uh, is uh, now malfunctioning. malfunctioning. Um, so these are things that I think ISRO should learn from and uh, yeah, I mean after all this is no st strategic thing that you need to keep uh, right. uh, quiet and secret your work. And, uh, and nor do I think the Indian public today is so uh, innocent that they would not realize that a mission like this carries some risks yeah, I'm fine. and that you are likely to yeah, have correct. some successes yeah. and some failures. Uh, right. Space missions are always um, um, risky business and uh, 
so this is part of the game. I mean, so if uh, ISRO should be only prepared to tell to the public that yes, this, uh, systems have failed and the mission is not going as smoothly as we had liked it to. Uh, so th these are things that uh, you should be able to share with the public in general because after all you are spending public money. Quite. So people should be kept informed and also appraise themselves of what positive things have come out of this. Sure, I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Yeah.